Last week on the Cow-Calf Corner, we visited with you about the importance of testing some of these summer annual hay crops, uh, forage sorghums, uh, for the possibility of accumulating high levels of nitrate and doing that testing before we harvest. One of the things through the years that has been uh, written about and certainly uh, present in some of the coffee shop talk has been the concept of different times of day that we harvest this having effect on the nitrate that's in the plant. And to, to give you some of the logic behind that, the thought always was that during the nighttime the nitrates were accumulating and then during the daytime when photosynthesis and plant metabolism was taking place that it would utilize the, the nitrate, turn it into protein, and therefore lower the nitrate concentration throughout the day. Well, nothing to do, but let's go ahead and test that theory. Several years ago, uh, we at Oklahoma State University utilized five different farms across the uh, central and western part of, of Oklahoma. And what we did was take samples from a forage sorghum field on five different farms at two hour intervals, starting at 8 a.m. in the morning all the way to 6 p.m. in the evening. And we did that all across the field. We had quadrants laid out to where we took samples from, from all over the field, each uh, sample, uh, the samples being taken every two hours. Then we sent them all to the uh, Soil and Water Forage Testing Laboratory here at Oklahoma State University to, to get the nitrate content that was in those forage samples. What we found, and no great surprise to me, was that there was tremendous difference in the nitrate concentration from the different farms. One farm, for instance, had an average of only 412 parts per million, which is virtually negligible. Hardly any nitrate in the forages at all. One farm averaged almost 9,000 parts per million across all of the samples. That meant some of those samples were in that area that we consider potentially lethal at 10,000 parts per million and above. But as we looked at all five farms, None of them showed any difference in terms of uh, being uh, important differences by time of day. In other words, there was no advantage to cutting later in the day versus earlier in the day on any of the five farms. And so I want to make that point real clear so that we don't have that false sense of security that by harvesting this later in the day that we'll suddenly be safe from nitrate toxicity. That's just not the case. The research proves that it just didn't change that much through the course of a day in any of those five fields, so we want to keep that in mind. We still want to go back to what we talked about last week. Let's go ahead and test the crop before we cut it. That way we'll have a better chance of harvesting something that will be safe for us to feed next winter. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>